When I'm back at the Oval Office, we will cut off every penny of money that we send to the Palestinians and the terrorists on day one. We will fully support Israel in defeating, dismantling, and permanently destroying the terrorist group known as Hamas. But most importantly, we will keep the radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country, like I did for four years. Like I did for four years, I kept them out, right? The atrocities in Israel are a horrific reminder that immigration security is truly national security. It really is. It's national security. We have people coming into our country now that are the same people in many cases as did what they did two weeks ago in Israel. The purpose of U.S. immigration law is not to protect the world. It's to protect the United States of America. We have to protect our own country. But as I've already said many, many times before, I will immediately reinstate and expand the wildly successful Trump travel ban on entry from terror plague countries, territories, and places. We're going to, we're going to, they ended it. They ended it. If you're coming from somewhere full of people who want to kill Americans, we will not let you in. We worked very hard on that. We had the greatest, we had the greatest border, most secure, safest border in the history of our country. Next, we'll implement strong ideological screening of all immigrants to the United States. No longer will we allow dangerous lunatics, haters, bigots, and maniacs to get residency in our country. We're not going to let them stay here. We're not going to let them. We're going to have the largest deportation effort in history. If you empathize with radical Islamic terrorists and extremists, you're disqualified. You're just disqualified. If you want to abolish the state of Israel, you're disqualified. If you support Hamas or any ide ideology that's uh, having to do with that or any of the other really sick thoughts that go through people's minds, very dangerous thoughts, you're disqualified. If you're a communist, a Marxist, or a fascist, other than the people that are already here, of which many are in the Biden administration, you're disqualified.